Hey guys, how's it going? This is Autobot JCB here again for another How to Transform video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to transform the 2002-2003 Transformers Armada Autobot Blur. In addition to Blur, I'm going to be showing you how to transform his partner Minicon Incinerator. So as you can see here, Blur uh, is, his vehicle mode is what appears to be some type of dragster, uh, as well as incinerator vehicle mode. Um, in order to actually get um, Blur, in order to start transforming Blur, what you'll actually need to do is if you turn them around, you'll see that there is this uh, slot right here. And if you actually take his Minicon incinerator and in and push him in, plug him into this slot and push forward, it will actually make the wings on Blur's vehicle mode uh, open up. Um, in the show, this is actually his mini, his power link port. And the, in the episode where the Autobots are trying to rescue one of the three Minicons that form the uh, Skyboom shield, um, Blur actually uses this ability in order to jump a gap in more or less a flight mode. But anyway, so now what we'll go ahead and do is we'll go ahead and take out Incinerator and we're going to set him off to the side. The next thing you're going to want to go ahead and do is you'll see that there are a, there's a panel here and there's a panel here. Go ahead and flip these panels in just like this. And we'll go ahead and flip these out of the way just like that. Um, one thing, if it helps, uh, go ahead and actually remove uh, Blur's weapons. We'll just set those off. We'll set those off to the side and I'll show you those in just a minute. Uh, so the next thing you'll want to go ahead and do is you'll see that there is a little trigger, a little uh, switch right here. Go ahead and push those all the way down, which will which will actually make the car uh, deform just like that. Go ahead and push this down just like this. So what that'll do is that'll actually make it easier to transform Blur into his alt mode. The next thing you'll want to do is you'll actually want to take the entire rear section of his vehicle mode or the lower section of his vehicle mode and flip it down just like that. And then take this section and rock it back just like that. And the next thing you'll do is you'll grab right here and pull that out and pull this out just right, right here. And then these panels right here, if you press down and fold them all the way forward, it will actually make another pin uh, partially pop out of his foot just like that and that will actually become his heel and his toe so we'll go ahead and flip this down and flip that out and there we have Blur's feet. The next thing you'll do is you'll take this panel that's right here go ahead and flip this down just like that and then what you do is you go ahead and grab right here and right here and go ahead and separate his arms and then fold them off to the side just like this just like that, and then go ahead and bring his arm down and then straighten it on the hin on the double hinge right there. Go ahead and bring it down, straighten it on the double hinge. And there we have Blur transformed and ready to go. And then, like I said, with his weapons, uh, they actually, typically they just uh, sit mounted right there on the wings. So they sit just like that. Um, now, one issue that I've always had with this figure is that when he's transformed like this, there's a there can be a lot of weight uh, on his back. On his back, uh, sometimes what I do is I actually have an extra incinerator minicon, and I uh, sometimes I will actually just leave it plugged into here uh, for a little added support. Um, you can pretty much use anything, I suppose. I've actually used uh, a couple of Legos before, but anyway. Uh, so you'll notice that on Blur's hands right here, there are two slots. And if you actually take his blasters, you'll notice that there's a round peg right there. And those can actually be mounted right on his arms, just like that. And then the Minicon can actually be inserted onto those pins. And that will actually make the missiles. Uh, they don't really fire fire, but I think if you push hard enough, they should. Uh, that one doesn't appear to want to go, so I apologize. Uh, but anyway, so there's what Blur looks like in his transformed mode. So we're going to go ahead and set him off to the side, and now I will show you how to transform Incinerator. So Incinerator, like I said, he's based off uh, a dragster. I think that the uh, amount of detail that they put on him is actually pretty good. Go ahead and flip him right over. You'll see his head right there, and you got the Minicon symbol right there. But anyway... 
Uh, to get this one transformed, you will take the entire rear section of the car, just like this, flip that out straight, just like that, and flip that out straight, just like that. And then what you do is go ahead and take the whole front section of the car, bring it down forward like that, and then if you turn it, um, when you turn it, make sure you grab right here and just pull it out just a little bit, because that will actually uh, disconnect the pin that's right there. And then you just go ahead and disconnect them like this, and then bring his arms down the rest of the way. And there we have Incinerator. All right, guys. Well, there's the 2002-2003 uh, Transformers Armada Blur with his partner Minicon Incinerator. If you guys have any other ideas for other Transformers you'd like me to try and do, feel free to comment below and even hit that like and subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And I will see what I can do to help you out in the future. Until then, bye.